Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for July 11th of 2024 is titled Globular Cluster Omega Centauri. So what do we see here? Well, here we see a dense concentration of stars. Now, this is what is known as a globular star cluster. And this specific one is known as Omega Centauri. It is about 150 light years across. So that's a relatively small portion of our galaxy in terms of size. However, within that small area, it has min millions of stars. So not just a few stars as we would see within our own section of the Milky Way, which would be relatively empty by comparison. Here we see lots of stars packed in there in these very dense star clusters. This is the largest of the star clusters that is known the largest globular star cluster known. And in fact, it may really not be a globular star cluster in the sense of what we usually think. A globular star cluster is a relatively small grouping such as this which formed all at the same time. Now that's the difference that we find here is that when we look at this, it has some properties with galaxies as well, in that we see different populations of stars, a range of ages within them. When we look at a globular star cluster, we can plot them all out and see that the stars really are all of about the same age. Here we find different ages and in fact different abundances chemically. So one of the thoughts is is that Omega Centauri instead of being a globular cluster is actually the core of a galaxy. And where's the rest of the galaxy? Well, it's probably been ripped off by the Milky Way. So as objects pass close to the Milky Way, small galaxies, they can get torn apart. This is how galaxies grow, that they incorporate material from other galaxies, sometimes smaller galaxies such as this, and sometimes larger galaxy collisions to similarly sized galaxies actually colliding together. And what we see here is again, then the remnant of that the portion that was a little bit stronger gravitationally was able to hold up as it passed close to the Milky Way, and was not completely disrupted and absorbed into the Milky Way. The outer layers would have then been absorbed within the Milky Way and are now part of our own galaxy. So what types of stars is a cluster like this made up of? Well, the prominent stars in it are going to be red giant stars, evolved stars, in fact, stars that might have been originally about the mass of our own sun, and that have now evolved and become red giants. And you can see scattered around through there the reddish dots, those are the red giant stars. So something that our sun will eventually become at the end of its life when it will expand greatly in size, eventually engulfing most of the inner solar system. And then it would be visible over a much wider range. So normally a star like the sun at this distance would be next to impossible to see. Here we can see those stars because they are so much larger, and therefore so much brighter. So it gives us a study and a look into this as we try to figure out exactly what Omega Centauri is. And of course, the recent discovery of a black hole near its center lends credence to the idea of it being the remnant core of a very small galaxy. So that was our picture of the day for July 11th of 2024. It was titled Globular Cluster Omega Centauri. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.